it's Ashley. I'm back and I'm going to be doing a video or well, I'm going to be reacting to this video that I seen on YouTube called Instagram versus reality. I guess it's a series because they say it's episode 10 and it's the Kardashian effect special. I haven't watched this yet so I'm not sure how well it's going to go over but let's go ahead turn the sound up. I guess I don't have to really turn the sound up. But, you know. Ready, episode 10. If you're just joining us, this is a segment on the ch channel where we go over your favorite Instagrammers and how they edit their photos to convince you that they actually look like that in reality. Mm, yes. Instagram makes you feel terrible. It's really good at that. And then you find out it's like 90% fake and you're like, what the fuck? You don't even look like that. As always, a quick disclaimer that I'm not trying to target or harm anyone's brand. The video is simply meant to be informative using readily available information on the web. This Speaking of, I follow a Instagram uh, account where they talk about it. I think it's called IG Famous Bodies, and they post about the same thing, like how people, celebrities, and Instagram uh, influencers, how they post stuff and how they've manipulated it from what the original picture is, or where you can see like how the walls wave. There's a line, like the wall is arched and it's like how's a door arched that way this week the majority of the photos and videos are from instagram reality the subreddit with a few from tiktok and youtube now i get that you clicked on this video for a 200 page kardashian expose but before that let's get through some of these easy examples to warm you up so with this first one there's not a whole lot wow she didn't really add anything. She more like took away. It's like, obviously you can tell like her cellulite and stuff on her legs and dimples. Her hair also looks funny. Like the part that goes, that's in the shadow. Like she copied it and posted it from something else. Let's see what he says. It's a case of skin smoothening with a slight selective blur to remove the cellulite's micro wrinkles. Chances are, if they photoshop one aspect of their body, they'll continue to do so for the others. So if you look over and at her belly, she's sucked that in using a liquify tool. What's great about editing a photo like this is that uh -huh. the camera puts her into focus so that the background becomes blurry, which makes for an easy liquify job without distorting any fine details. Pretty relatively cut and dry, so we'll just go uh -huh. on. Oh, okay. I guess there's nothing wrong with that hair. Sausage fingers? You cannot, and I mean cannot, remove natural body creases when editing a photo. Ah! She doesn't have the wrinkles you usually have, like, for each joint of your fingers and stuff. It just, like, looks like a sausage with a nail, fingernail glued on it. I get it, I get it. and skin to move freely. I get asked a lot to edit fingers and underarms, but generally leaving these aspects in makes you... <laughs> wow. Like, she has no underarms, pretty much. It's just smooth, like a baby's bottom. Is that Kristen Stewart? She looks really pretty in that picture. The more realistic, and that's she looks better blonde, I think. Being or at least, like, that dirty blonde, brown color. Oh, I get it. Airbender. <laughs> well, we know. 
I think they would have somebody else edit their videos or photos for them, but I guess more people would know. Wow. Whoa. Damn, she be editing the shit out of her stuff. Her jaw's not even that strong. <laughs> All might be now. Wow. And this is Kylie Jenner's makeup artist. I see nothing wrong here. Everything's fine. Really? Those hips? No oh, Photoshop and video. <gasps> Oh my gosh, his face. What the heck, bro? He had to have photoshopped his face like that. This is some of Kylie's earlier masterpieces. Her eyes and out of proportion to her face. Her nose, her She looks crazy. That does look like some amateur Photoshop. Like like I know how to Photoshop. I can't. The most I could do is use some filters that make me look good. Wow. Her leg. Like her thigh. Does she think that looks normal? Looks like elephantitis. I mean, I have to give it to her. Whoever her plastic surgeon is, is probably the best that money can buy. Yeah, because she is really pretty. Probably not as much. But she needs to stop. See it. She's not editing the neck, however. She's lowering her trapezoid muscles, which naturally flex up when pulling that pose. In a future defining beauty episode, subscribe to catch that. Lower trapezoids give the impression of a more feminine, slimmer neck, which accentuates mm -hmm. her high cheekbones. <laughs> Conversely, on guys, a thicker, wider neck gives a more masculine look and greatly improves facial dimorphism. It's like a plus two points on guys if it's done correctly. So, as Jeff Nippert often says, never skip neck day. <laughs> Well, my laptop, which I thought was charged, was not, so I'm going to go and get my charger so I can finish doing some more videos. One sec. Right, let them get this ad since. I've wanted to try them for a while, but then, you know, when you have influencers or people keep doing ads for them, you're like, mm, I don't trust them. I'm not sure. Special, not a Kylie special. It would be 
Chloe's really bad. Her lips. The first one, she looks really pretty. She looks like Kylie, though. The second one, she doesn't even look like her. It looks like just some Instagram person. The third one looks the most like her. And I don't I just don't like the fourth one. Like just the pictures in general. But that second per the two, that doesn't even look like Chloe, period, like at all. She photoshopped the shit out of that photo. In terms of editing or how it is edited, because there's heavy post processing involved that distorts the telltale signs of liquify use or even skin retouching. However, the four faces are all supposedly different, and all supposedly meant to be Khloe Kardashian at the same time. You can just tell by looking at it. In the Defining Beauty series, I covered the terminology that told you exactly how they're different. Like for instance, the gonio angle of her jaw in number two is far shallower than Khloe's real angle in number three. Her zygomatic facial width in number three is far wider than that of number four, making her... That's why she looks so different. She made her jaw like, <laughs> like mine. It's like, ah. let's not talk, let's let's not talk about my jaw. Okay. Seem to have a longer face. <laughs> with in number one makes it look like a bootleg Kylie Jenner, but in number four it's a lot narrower. It may seem pedantic to point out these specific features, but in aspects of plastic surgery, portrait art, and Photoshop retouching, these are important features to consider to recreate the same face and stop this from happening. The differences in facial parameters are too large to be justified by angles and parallax error. Check out the Defining Beauty series if you haven't already to learn more about how we define faces. I say this often, but the way most influencers get called out is by video. It's harder to edit, but not impossible. I've covered how faces are edited. But I still can. Well, I can, but then I'm just like, damn. We got this kind of technology where you can fucking edit videos, but we still don't have, like, do we have a cure for agent? Have we solved world hunger? But you can edit your videos to make sure you look good. You can lie to everybody, including yourself, make yourself feel good, as good as you can temporarily feel by thinking that you actually look like something you some fake video you posted in Hollywood productions and soon I'll be releasing part two that covers how it's done in live streams like Twitch and Instagram is Kylie getting caught out in the same way oh. Instagram versus Instagram live that's not her that's not her that's not her in that live that's not her they don't even look like the picture she always posts of herself. Wow. Wow. That's not the same day, though. <laughs> I hope not. Wow. Like, she still looks cute, but that's not. That don't even look like her. Much to say. I'll give her the benefit of the doubt and say it's like this because she is mid sentence, but it's a good example to use to point out the side effects of the filler injection. The truth uh -huh. is that guys often get permanent implants to mimic bone structure and girls. Oh, he gave herself a jaw. To make facial fat. She gave herself a chin. Are seen as more attractive on women and more defined, almost gaunt faces are seen better on men. In that regard. because fillers have a long-term side effect of shifting around the face as you age by unnaturally adding more soft Jacqueline Hill to your face in the form allegedly hyaluronic fillers you're simulating the job of fat naturally in your face the problem is fat moves and the more you have of it the deeper the creases on your face get as the gradient from regions of filler to those with no filler become more pronounced it'll look great while you're still and not moving 
moving, but adding extra mass changes your facial biomechanics, deepening natural creases like the nasolabial line to move muscles around as you speak. Need a professional website? I created one for us. Oh, I used to have a Wix website. My website used to be Wix, then I went to WordPress. I'm not gonna not watch the ad for I'm not gonna watch the ad for that one. But I am gonna subscribe to his channel because it's really interesting. Maybe I'll start photoshopping too. Just kidding. For now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm more of a what you get you what you get is what you see. Oh no, I still want to stay subscribed. Play. I don't know. <laughs> wow, her nose. What does she do to her nostrils? Look. I used to think Chloe was so cute, even though everybody said she was the ugly one. Now I can't stand any of the Kardashians. Her nose looks crazy. In her brows. That don't that doesn't even look like her. Doesn't look like her. Width, so this part of the nose is smaller. Her eye colors are completely different from green to brown. Yeah. And I doubt sunlight can do that. Since <laughs> half her face is covered by hair on the right, there isn't much else I can comment on. This picture actually came from a family photo on Twitter, so it's not like I'm cherry picking the photos either. And this next one is actually from the same day as the previous one. I can't really tell what's bending in the background. It could be a pillow on a chair, but Kylie's sitting on the chair's armrest, so that pillow would have to be floating in the air. <laughs> also, it's a coincidence that it's bending upwards near Kim's waist, so my verdict is that it's a liquefier thing. For people who make a living off their appearance, You'd think that they'd spend more time inspecting the background to leave no room for doubt that their photos are edited. Right. Now, here's something interesting. Ever notice how the Kardashians, other Instagram influencers, and modeling photo shoots almost never smile in their photos? Smiling distorts your features on camera and makes you less photogenic. So oh. it's always been strange to me that the default go-to response is to smile for a photo. Kardashians always go with the blue steel pose, which adds to their aura of exclusive blue steel. <laughs> staying aloof from everyday people. But then you see this and it ruins the appeal. Oh, that crying video, man. The face <laughs> is just as important as the composition of the photo itself and can change the entire tone of it. Do it enough times over an Instagram career and people will start to associate those feelings of exclusivity with you. Oh. As a charm to it that the Kardashians have mastered, trying without looking like they're trying, which is why you all love it when they get caught editing their photos. It breaks yeah. Illusion. Uh huh. People love yep. Keeping up with the Kardashians, they're selling both the poison and the cure. They're selling both the exclusivity and the inclusivity by bringing you into their lives. Out of these girls, if there's anyone you should look up to, it's probably Kris Jenner. She's an absolute marketing genius. Yeah, she is. Okay. Since I subscribe, what's up? Services I'd like to mainstream on the site, 
get through with more clients because I have my hands full right now. If you like the quality of these videos, you can expect just as much effort in the quality of the <laughs> That's a really good video. Stop this real quick. Good to see you. Yeah, hey, what's with the polka dots? Let me poke squares. <laughs> that was really interesting. Like, I know, um, People always get on the Kardashians about their photoshopping and stuff. Well, everybody's been getting on everybody for photoshopping. And most people, like, I don't, like, I can understand, like, blemish or pores, texture on your skin. Um, but then when it comes to changing your body shape, that's where I'm just like, stop. That's where I'm just like, mm, I don't know if I can get behind that. But when you make your career off of how you look, you have to keep with that set of standards that you made for yourself and for your fans, or you're not going to have a career. And as we can see with the Kardashians, if you do it right, even though it can look phony and you get called out, you can make millions off of an aesthetic and then having that aesthetic become so mainstream that that's the way that all women think they should look and can cause a lot of mental issues I think uh, that sounds like a, like a whole nother issue video discussion that I probably won't ever talk about but I just feel like it's a jumping off point to something that's causing a shift maybe not just because of them but because of other factors as well it is becoming a big issue but I really like the video I subscribe to them and I'm gonna probably watch more of their videos because it's really interesting um, like I said, I'm not really a fan of photoshopping other than like what I said, blemishes, texture and skin, maybe like you want to change up like your hairline, you want to edit something out because it's not supposed to be in there, like a bra strap or something, but body modification seems a little too much for me. But I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. With my baby, tough drops and raindrops Motion got me all faded, my heart Got me going all crazy